Let me show you exactly how to take everything from an old iPhone and transfer it to the brand new iPhone 15 or iPhone 15 Pro or Max. Now the process is gonna be the exact same with every new version of the iPhone 15. So I'll show you exactly how to do it step by step. So the very first step is, this is the new iPhone here and I already set this up as a brand new phone. That's why you see this page. So if you've already set it up and now you wanna transfer from your old phone, you have to actually set this up as a brand new phone. If your phone is already in the box and you just took it out, well, you could skip this step. It only takes a few seconds, so let me show you how to do it. I'm gonna unlock this phone. Again, I already set it up as a brand new phone. This is not my old phone, this is the new one. So I'll go to settings here, go down to general, and then go down here, press right here, transfer and reset iPhone, and I wanna erase all iPhone. Again, I wanna emphasize, this is the new phone. I already set it up as a new phone. There's nothing really here. All my old stuff is on my old iPhone on the left. I'll erase this right here. Basically, it's gonna erase me setting up this as a new iPhone. I'll press continue. And then I should get this pop-up that says erase iPhone when I type in my Apple ID passcode, I'll do that. And then this is gonna reset my phone, basically getting it back to the exact same place it was when I took it out of the box. If you're taking it right out of the box for the first time, you should just start with the Apple logo and you shouldn't need to do that step I just showed you. Okay, now if you're taking your phone out of the box for the very first time, I just took it out of the box, you just wanna press and hold the power button here till you land on this page. This is the welcome page, and then I'm gonna keep my phone here on the left side. This is my old phone. So let's go ahead and unlock the new phone here. Let's slide up. Then the first thing is choose a language here, and then choose a country. And then here you wanna choose an appearance. So this is basically how big your font selection is, size and icons. I'll do medium, continue. Now, quick start. It says, do you wanna set up without another device? I covered that in a different video. In this case, we wanna transfer from our old phone. So I don't wanna do that. In this case, it's gonna look for a nearby device. So make sure on your old device, you come down from the corner here and set up Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So these two icons need to be turned on here to make sure everything works right. And on your new iPhone, you don't have to do anything because we can't actually turn anything on. Things that need to be on or are already on. Now with the old iPhone here, I should see a pop-up. If you don't see a pop-up like this, just lock it and unlock it. And as soon as they're next to each other, you should see this pop-up and just press continue here. And then it's gonna say, pick up this phone here, this old phone and scan this new code here that's appearing in the middle of the page. And then this is what I should see. It says, set up my new iPhone. Do I wanna set it up for me or do I wanna create a child's account? In this case, I wanna set it up for myself. It's gonna ask for the passcode of the old phone. So that's what I'm gonna type in here. We're not setting up a new one. This is just what our old phone was to unlock. And then it says, it's gonna take a few minutes to activate. So this is actually not yet transferring all the information over. It's transferring things like Wi-Fi information and some other things like that to make the setup a little bit easier. Then you're gonna get this page that says transfer your phone number. So this one has a eSIM, so there's no physical card here. And this one doesn't have a physical card. Back in the day, you used to have to take the physical SIM card and put it in a new phone. Now it's all electronic. So even if your old phone has a SIM card, you don't have to take it out now. It transfers wirelessly this way. So I'm gonna say transfer from another phone, which is this one, the top one, or you could set this up later. It's always in your settings menu, but I'll do this one this time. Transfer number, yes. So then I'm gonna see this page. It says software update, so I'll just turn this off for a second. It says update your software now if you wanna transfer your data directly from another phone. That is what I wanna do, so I'm gonna update now. If you do update later, you could actually set this up as a new device, which is something I made a different video about, but right now let's set this up from an old phone, so I'm gonna update now, and I'm gonna agree, and the new iPhones do come with enough battery power here to be able to set up this whole process without having to plug it in. But if you like, you could actually take the cable, it now comes with USB-C, so you could plug this into it and plug it into a cube. It doesn't come with the power adapter, though that goes on the wall, you have to buy that separately, it just comes with this cable. Now my new phone is gonna ask me to set up FaceTime, this doesn't transfer from your old phone, so I'm gonna set this up later in the menu, but you could set it up now. Now here, you could download from iCloud. This is the old way where you took basically everything from here to an iCloud account and downloaded it with this through the Apple ID. This one is really easy though. This one literally just requires these phones to be next to each other just like this. 
This one will take 10 to 15 minutes, it says. This one will also take 15 minutes. There's some other options like setting this up as a new phone, but I usually just choose this option right here. So I'll do that right now. And finally, you should come to this page. It says, make this your new iPhone, but it says app and data are coming from another phone. Now, this is everything except a couple of things are not going to transfer. I'll point those out in a second that you'll have to do manually. And also my connection with my Apple Watch. If you have an Apple Watch, it says that is being transferred. Things from your wallet, from your settings, all of it is going to transfer. You could go ahead and customize it, though, if you want. So it's going to bring you to this page to make this update. Right now, I'm just going to press continue. Location services, yes, because I do use maps and things like that. I'll enable. It's going to show me emergency SOS. I'll press continue. And then eventually you should see this page. So transferring from one iPhone to the new iPhone. And it says if your old iPhone is not powered up, make sure you plug this in. It's recommending both of them are actually connected to power. Right now I'm fully charged just about on both. And right here is going to tell you how long it's going to take. I have about 250 gigabytes of information on this old phone. So it's going to take a bit of time. But this is not at all accurate this timer. Every time I've done this for the last five, six years, it's way off. So let me finish this up then i'll tell you exactly how long it took okay it took roughly 40 minutes for my phone again i have over 250 gigabytes of data from this phone that went into this phone so i got complete right here this is going to go through the progress bar one more time i'm going to let this finish up then i'll show you the results and there's one more thing you got to do and some things don't transfer so i'll point that out as well so here's the home page again let's go ahead and unlock the phone the passcode is the passcode from this phone because it transferred over when we set it up so it says restore complete i'll press ok here i did not set up facetime so you could go and set it up now or later i could customize the action button now or later again this is in the menu here welcome to the iphone now right here it says erase this old phone to sell it i'm going to say not now because some things have not transferred over just yet so i want to keep this phone and if i decide to sell it then i could decide to erase it after right now i want to first make sure you could see all these apps and widgets and everything else. You want to wait for them to all transfer over. So this may take maybe another hour, but you don't have to have the phones next to each other. You could go ahead and go about your business here with your new phone. But the one thing is with your old phone, things that are in authentication apps, if you use authentication apps for passwords, some passwords transfer the one with two factor authentication don't. So make sure you set those up again in your new phone while you still have your old phone available. Other things like WhatsApp messages, photos, all those should already transfer. So don't erase this just yet. Let this transfer complete. Use your phone for a few hours, then go ahead and erase your old phone. So in the very next video, and I'll link it below too, I'll show you exactly how to erase your old phone once this is all set up and you're happy with your new phone and get it ready to be sold or traded.